Welcome to Gobi.com. Location-based sites are getting popular and Gobi takes it one step further. It's a location-based site that also adds a temporal element, allowing you to determine not just where you want to go, but when. The site has very strong messaging. As you can see, their headline is sign up to choose your adventure. It's a very simple headline, no paragraphs, tells you exactly what you want to know. And the next thing you would do is probably click on one of their calls to action. They have a join now button. They also have a search button. As you can see, they have several search fields that you can use to test out the site. So if you're interested in live music in Boston today, you can click search and see an automatically generated site that has information on exactly that subject. This actually gives the site quite a lot of stickiness because if you're visiting the site to find out what live music is happening today, that the meaning of that content will change tomorrow. So visiting this site on a daily basis can be a great way to find out new events, and obviously they'll be generating new pages based on the changing definition of today, tomorrow, and next week, which means that pretty much any page you visit will have dynamic content. The site also has some great social features, including signing up through Facebook Connect, which makes it simpler and also means that they can play little games invading your Facebook wall and getting you to share the site with your friends. The site also has some calls to action involving signing up to become a fan on Facebook or on Twitter. So check out Gobi if you'd like to take location-based, social-based sites to the next level. Thank you, Byrne, for talking about messaging, calls to action, stickiness, and social media integration. Now I'm going to point out a few features on Gobi that make it great for a new user to get started on the site easily. Rather than having to come up with your own ideas of how to use it, there's some easy suggestions that are clickable and immediately go into the example box. Golf courses, live music, museums. Obviously, these are things that Gobi's already worked out as being very compatible or useful uh, with their site. So we can click for museums, and we're in Union Square, and I want to go tomorrow, my day off, and it asked me if I meant Union Square, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania. So obviously it's looking for a city and not just a part of town. And so one thing that maybe they should have done is, is noted that. But in this case, so obviously I need to change it to New York City. And then we get these suggestion boxes. Great. Choose New York City, New York. And try that again. And there we go. Museums near New York City for today. Or tomorrow. And since it's a museum and it's open today and tomorrow, obviously the results are going to be similar. Where Gobi really starts to shine is when you start putting in time-sensitive things such as live music New York City this weekend. And there you go. Now going back to their home page, Another good technical feature is that you have these strong calls to action in very high contrast colors. Uh, they, they want you to either start using the site or sign up for the site. So that's why you have these two main buttons here, search and join. And then for people who aren't quite so sure they're ready to join, there's a how it works button. Obviously the how it works page could use a little bit more content, but it's a young site so we'll give them a pass on this. There's a simple explanation of how it works again encouraging you to sign up. Going back to their homepage we see some additional content as we scroll down there's this great list of some of the things that the site is useful for connecting with live music, outdoor recreation, events in general. I also like this a lot, trending sweet spots. So sites, uh, geolocation sites like Foursquare and GoWalla show you what's trending nearby and Gobi has a similar feature, but it's sort of a cross between trending places and trending activities. So while something like Foursquare might tell you a certain bar is trending, you have no idea why it's trending or what's going on there. Whereas with Gobi, you now know that this bar is trending and it's because a concert's going on. So this is incredibly useful and it really is taking what people like Foursquare and GoWalla are doing and, and taking it to the next level and adding a layer of useful content to it. And that is Gobi.com.